The whole purpose behind an ORM like Prisma ORM is to make it easy to access a database without needing to write raw SQL. And in the case of Prisma, to do so in a type safe way. So instead of writing raw SQL queries that don't have any type information, we can work with an abstraction to be able to get access to our database, do queries against it, write data to it, and do everything we would need to do. Now there is a misconception that if you're using an ORM like Prisma, you won't be able to do lower level things with your database. And perhaps the thought is that if we're using the ORM as an abstraction layer, then maybe we're missing out on some lower level primitives that would let us get to our database in ways that the ORM would not make possible. However, with Prisma, it's always possible to drop down to raw SQL when we need to. And in more recent versions of Prisma, we can do so in a type safe way. So today, let's take a look at a feature of Prisma called typed SQL, and we'll see how it's possible to drop down to raw SQL in a type safe way. So we've got this Prisma project here. It's got a schema with two models. We've got a user model and a post model. They're related together. And what we've got here is a simple query to get all the users, and then we're including the posts with them. If we run this, npm run dev, there's our information, we've got our users, we've got the associated posts, everything is just fine here. Now let's say we wanted to get information out of our database using the tables that we've got, but we want to represent it in a much different way than would naturally come out of our user model. One option is that we could query the database and get all of the info we need and then manipulate it in the application itself. And that's a very common pattern. People will get the data they need and then transform it before it is served to an application, let's say. However, maybe there's a need to do it directly against the database. And that is potentially a good use case for a raw SQL script. What we'll do here is we'll set up an SQL script to do some work like that. But first we need to opt into the feature. So let's come up here in client. Let's have a preview feature of typed SQL. That's going to give us this feature set where we're able to define an SQL file and then get type information from it. Let's save the schema. Then let's come into the Prisma directory here and we'll create a new directory in there called SQL. In that directory, we can create a file for where we want to hold our script. So we can call this something like getusers.sql. And this is the place where we can write any kind of raw SQL script that we might want. So maybe let's think about a scenario where we want to get back some data from our database and we want to represent it in a different way than would typically come from a query. And maybe what we can do is use the with operator so that we can have a common table expression. I've got some SQL on my clipboard here. This is a with as query here where we're going to define this intermediary table called users. Then we're going to work with select inside of this where we're going to select from the user table. So the actual user table that we've got in our database. And what we want is the ID to start. Then we want this thing called full name, which itself doesn't exist in our table. Instead, we have first name and last name. Those are the items that we're tracking in our database, but we can concap them together to give ourselves full name. Then perhaps we want the post count they have. So instead of doing something like including all posts in our queries for users and then doing some dot length count, for example, what we can do is just get a count straight out of the database for how many posts the user has. So this will result in a CTE where we'll then be able to select full name and post count. So these new values that we've defined from that intermediary table. All right, so let's save this and then we'll try generating the Prisma client to see it at work. We can do npx prisma generate and pass the SQL flag, dash dash SQL. Okay, so that has generated. Next, let's come over to our server.ts file. And the way we make use of this now is we have to import it. So import to get users. That comes from prisma client SQL. And now users here is going to await a call to prisma dot dollar query raw types. We'll pass in get users to that. All right, let's see what we get. We'll save this, npm run dev. All right, so we get our information, we get the full name, we get post counts. This doesn't look quite like what we want, so let's fix that up. So what we can do here is we can cast this as an integer. So cast, we'll bump this into some brackets, and the autocompletion here is saying as integer, that's what we wanna do, so as integer. All right, so let's save that. We will kill what's going on there. And then let's rerun the generation, passing the SQL flag. All right, that should be good to go. Let's do npm run dev again. All right, there we go. We got John Doe and Jane Smith, and we've got their post counts. Now this is cool. We get a way to call into a SQL script that we define here. But the real value here is that all of this becomes type safe because we're using the query raw typed method here. So what we can do is if we were to console.log users 
at zero, for example, the first index, and we just hit dots, what we see here are the properties that exist on this result set. And that is known because we have generated our Prisma client passing the SQL flag. It looks into these SQL scripts here that are in this directory, and it's able to construct all of the types that we can expect from the results. So this is a very concrete example of how we are calling into our database in a way that is much different from our typical ORM usage, but Prisma still knows how to deal with the types here. And all of this is supported in a very first class manner within Prisma. So we're able to drop down to raw SQL, get type information for our results, and then mix this with regular ORM usage as well. So if you have any questions about how to use the typed SQL feature in Prisma or how to use Prisma ORM in general, please feel free to drop them in the comments below, or you can reach out to us. We're at prisma.io on the web, or you can reach us on Twitter. We're at Prisma there. Thanks for watching.